mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Everybody Hills. And guys, I think this is probably the first time that I'm going to be, going to be talking about this ever. Uh, and it's all about Summer House. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Everybody Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. I mean, look. I did not watch Summer House for many, many years. And I started watching it the other day. I'm liking it. It's not my favorite thing just yet. And I have to say, I'm just on season two. And I know, I already know what is going to happen because I'm not being like oblivious to all the tea that has been happening over there. So I know about Carl being like an alcoholic, you know, and like the breakups and like uh, Kyle already married uh, Amanda and all those things. So I know that that's going to happen. Um, but I'm just watching it, you know? So imagine my surprise when I woke up today and like everywhere was the news that officially Miss uh, Lindsay Hover and uh, Carl Rodkey are officially dating again. I mean, look, do I think it's a good idea? I don't know. I don't know, okay? Uh, it could if this thing end up being bad it's gonna ruin the friendship forever but anyway so this is what she had to say to page six so i'm gonna read it to you because it is a lot and then we're gonna discuss a little bit uh where they ask her if she was uh dating um carl she said we are definitely dating okay um she, they are definitely not assuming the girlfriend boyfriend label just yet. We don't really like, we don't, I'm sorry guys, we don't really talk in labels. Carl and I, we are very much together. We are very happy. Uh, the publicist revelation comes month after fans speculate. Yeah, so everyone was has been talking about this for a very long time. But, uh, you know, it's finally here. It finally really happened. Uh, she also says, we have always have this thing for each other. Sometimes you look back and be like, um, was even cause it up. What? Oh, sorry, guys. It's just like. It's late. I'm tired. We have we have always have this thing for each other. Sometimes you look back and be like, was I just feeling the time until I was ready and he was ready? Um, timing is just an interesting thing. When we tried to date a couple of years ago, we were both in such very different headspace. I honestly feel like I tried to cover up my feelings, but I don't think those feelings ever died. So, like I'm telling you, I know like they used to date back in season four. They did for they date for a little bit, but then you know they this whole alcohol problem with Carl came over, and they decided to just basically um, leave it there uh, at that moment. And then apparently they. Um, well, Carl decided to go sober after his brother died in August of 2020. And then that kind of like paved the way for them to be able to be together uh, again. Um, Lindsay says, he is still the same Carl. You just see all the good now. He eliminated things that will trigger the bad in him. Alcohol, for example. He is still himself. He is so funny and we have so much fun together. We speak the same language. Um, his sobriety has been a huge priority for him and it's also been a huge priority for me. Obviously, we know everything about each other as far as friends and that's what makes such a solid foundation for us to be able to navigate his sobriety and figure out what his needs are in that capacity in a new romantic relationship. Just as you have seen, 
our friendship developed over the last five seasons and then even this season you will see a new evolution uh we wanted a little bit of privacy we are not filming right now and we already tried this a couple of years ago we have a lot of opinions and scrutiny because we tried it while we were filming being able to do it again but just blocking everything else out and really focusing on each other and spending time with each other without outside distraction has been really helpful we wanted to keep our privacy private for as long as we could. We don't get honeymoon faces anymore. Um, looking forward, Hover revealed that Rekha fits perfectly into her dreams of one day getting married and starting a family. She said, like, of course he does. He's just so wonderful and obviously handsome. We want the same things in life. So hopefully there's a strong future there. So they definitely look like they are doing good and they are being like happy, um, which look, they look great together. So I'm, I cannot say that I'm not happy. I'm happy for this relationship. You know, it's just like I'm the kind of person who really values a friendship. And, you know, it's it it's scary to date a friend more even a best friend, because if this thing doesn't result, if one of them end up, you know, screwing it up or cheating or doing what, whatever bullshit or just or just like love is not enough, you know, or, or whatever happens next, it could ruin the friendship forever. OK, so I'm, I, I will be the kind of person who will be really like anti dating your friends because I think I will prefer like if I broke up with my partner, like I don't care about that bitch, you know, and she and he can just like live forever and like never be on my radar ever again and not having like a friend who like we all have the same friends and we all hang together all the time. And then if we broke up, we're still going to have to see each other, you know, and the whole process is different. And if the breakup is bad, then the friends are the ones who have to choose, you know, and it's like a whole deal, which I also went through through before so it's like ugh. so i'm very anti that so i'm just i'm hoping for the best i'm hoping for the best i i feel that they do a great couple together and kind of like makes sense a little bit uh but i'm just hoping that please this result you know and uh, it works so i don't know anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you happy for them do you think that this is gonna be a thing forever and ever i don't know let me know in the comments below guys and if you haven't watched all the videos for today go and watch them right now because you don't want to miss all the tea that happened we talk about jen shaw attacking lisa barlow again we talk about dr nicole martin from the real house of miami getting engaged uh, we talk about Dorit Kemsley breaking her social media silence. We did a whole recap on last night episode of The Real Housewife of Orange County that you do not want to miss. So go right now and watch all those videos and more because, you know, the tea is never ending. Okay, you can literally go to my playlist. I have a playlist for every single franchise. The tea is insane. So you can go and watch all of it. And also, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Uh, you can find me anywhere as RealAndyBH. Um, you can find me on Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, absolutely anywhere, okay? So go follow me right now. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. Thanks for watching.